Hello and welcome back. I am Shatad Aldhar with Bentley Systems. This is the third video explaining why you should use Ecosim Building Designer for your BIM workflows. If you haven't watched the previous videos of the series, the links are provided in the description below. Take a few minutes to watch those videos before proceeding. In this video, we are going to cover BIM Plus CAD. Ecosim Building Designer supports a multidiscipline design modeling and drawing production environment. We already know how simple the 3D CAD tools are to use. By using Ecosim, we can also access tools that would help us add BIM information into our design. Along with intuitive tools to create our design, Ecosim Building Designer provides us access to a huge library of pre-designed 3D models of different components like chairs, windows, columns, beams, cooling towers, VAVs, HUs and also fittings like T's, bends, etc. which confirm to predefined catalogs. In Ecosim Building Designer, we can also access a huge library of pre-designed electrical symbols. This example shows how a 2D CAD model with no BIM information can be converted into a model with information. To do that, we will select all the cells by using Select by Attributes method. Now, we will select the cells based on their attributes. In this case, we will use the name Bistro Chair. When we click on Apply, all the cells get selected. Next, we will uncheck the default level here to unselect any selected elements on that level. Then we click on the Attach Data tool and select the instance data that we have created for the Bistro Chairs. Then we click on any data point and we can see on the left side of the screen, the list of chairs is now available. If we select one from the list, the selection appears in the model as well. We can also zoom into a selection from the list. Now we will add spaces in the model based on the existing 2D shapes. First, we click on the Architecture tab and then we click on the Space tool. Next, we select the required label which in this case is Outdoor Seating. We next select the shapes where the spaces will be assigned to. Now let's select another space label, such as in this case, Dining. Now we select the shape where we want to place the space. Now if we go back to the schedule and refresh it, you can see that the schedule will be populated with the BIM information we just added to the model. If we select the Retail Specialty Schedule under Fixture by Space, you can see that we have three sets of Bistro Chairs in this model which gets highlighted as we select the rows in the schedule. This functionality is exclusive to Ecosim Building Designer. Now you can see the 2D BIM model is full of information since all the elements have properties attached. Next up is an example that shows how to easily create walls from spaces. We select the wall tool and set the place option to place from space. If we click on any type of space, it will create a wall surrounding that space. We can now move any wall just for say due to a revision and the space and the area updates as well. We can add in space within the model from the space option and can fill up any undefined space by flood method and assign a number to it. Now we create a boundary wall for the entire building. We then select the boundary wall for the entire space and can easily change the wall from a simple wall to a compound wall. Ecosim easily handles changes. It has the flexibility to manage change which is very important in the overall workflow of a project in a holistic way. Here in this example, I start with grid. As you can see, we can add orthogonal grids, radial grids or sketch 2 axis and 3 axis grids for the design. We can alter settings for all those grids. Now these grids do have a start and an end floor, which means all the floors between those two floors including those two floors will have that particular grid applied to them. For example, if we go to a floor where we have applied this grid, we see that the grid is placed. Next we place footings. We'll choose some concrete piers. We can select any section from the huge library built into Ecosim Building Designer. Now we select the placement option called Grid. When we select the grid, we see that all the grid intersection points are selected and a pier is placed at each intersection.
Next, we use the same method to place columns on top of these footings. We select the column tool and the same placement method. We select any section from the library and identify the appropriate grid again to place columns. Now, we will be placing some beams. To do so, we select a section from the huge library once again. And then select the placement method as two points. This is a different placement method by which we can keep drawing the beams between two points. There is another method by which you can place beams between two beams along their length without having to calculate the center to center spacing between them. For this case, we'll be placing framing members using three beams between two beams using the placement method called number of members. We specify to three. Now, if we select two beams, we see three equidistant beams are placed between them. In this example, we'll be using a ceiling grid and place a number of light fixtures within the grid. By using the place symbols in grid tool and a ceiling grid, we can easily place light fixtures in a matter of seconds. Once all the parameters required are provided and a start point for the grid is selected, Ecosim Building Designer would do the rest. The light fixtures are placed automatically along the grid. We can also place multiple light fixtures along a definite path. By using the place symbols along path tool and a predefined path, with a few clicks, we place a number of spotlights along this path. When it comes to raceway or cable tray design, Ecosim can also simplify the design process. If we have our raceway path defined, we use the convert lines tool to change the selected lines into raceways. We provide the required raceway properties and preferences like system definition, dimension of bends and straights, etc. We have now created a 3D raceway from a 3D path. This has its bends and other fittings placed as provided in the earlier steps. To do a quick recap, we can use Ecosim Building Designer to convert 2D and 3D CAD models to BIM elements, simplify structural design, simplify architectural design and simplify electrical design of a building. That's all for now. In the next video titled Geocoordination with Existing Reality, we will cover the third reason for using Ecosim Building Designer.